Hi friends, Teacher Jen here again. Hope you're all doing well. I'm here for another five minute Pete the Cat story. This, these stories are by James Dean. And today's story is going to be <clears throat> Pete the Cat, Sir Pete the Brave. Meet Sir Pete. He is the bravest and coolest knight in all of Cat Kingdom. He wears a suit of armor and a helmet. He even carries a sword. All day long, Sir Pete does lots of knightly things. He rides a horse and climbs towers. At dinner, Sir Pete listens to Lady Callie play the harp. Lady Callie is awesome. Bravo, Sir Pete yells at the end of each song. He claps louder than anyone. One night, while Lady Callie plays beautifully, Someone casts a spell, and everyone falls asleep, even Sir Pete. When everyone wakes up, Lady Callie is gone. Oh no, say, says Sir Pete the Brave, I know what to do. I will find Lady Callie and save her. So off Sir Pete goes to save Lady Callie. Yikes! Sir Pete falls into a giant hole. Who could have made such a huge hole? The hole is a dragon's footprint. Follow the footprint, Sir Pete says to his horse. The dragon must have taken Lady Callie. The footprints stop. Where did the dragon go? Sir Pete looks up. And where's Lady Callie? and sees the dragon flying across the lake with Lady Callie and her harp. Sir Pete can't fly. How will he get across the lake? How do you think, friends? He gets an idea. He can row. Across the lake he goes. Sir Pete gets to the other side of the lake. He spots a dragon cave. The dragon and Lady Callie must be inside the cave. He has to go inside, but it is very dark. Then he hears music. He must save Lady Callie. He won't be scared. He is Sir Pete the Brave. He follows the music, but it suddenly stops. He finds a harp, but to Lady Cal but no Lady Callie. Where could she be? Sir Pete will not give up. He sees a hill and decides to climb it. From there, he can probably see Lady Callie. At the top of the hill, he looks around for his friend. And then he hears a loud growl. Sir Pete is scared. The hill suddenly starts to move. Was it a hill, friends? What's happening? Oh no, this is not a hill. Sir Pete is on the dragon's back. He did not find Lady Callie, but he found the dragon. Sir Pete knows what to do. He decides to slide down, down, down the dragon's back as quickly as possible. Hopefully the dragon does not see, eat Sir Pete. The dragon feels something ticklish on his back and sees Pete. The dragon lets out a mighty roar. Sir Pete is in trouble. Then, out of nowhere, he hears a familiar voice. Sir Pete, says Lady Callie, I will save you. Save me, says Sir Pete. But I came to save you. Sir Pete and Lady Callie start to argue about who was saving who. They stop fighting, though, when it starts to rain. But wait, there are no rain clouds inside a cave. Sir Pete and Lady Callie look up and see that the dragon is crying. What's wrong? asks Lady Callie. I just want to sing along, wanted to sing along the dragon sobs, but people got, get scared when they see me because I am so huge and have sharp teeth. I did not want to scare anybody. Sir Pete and Lady Callie feel bad for making the dragon sad. I have an idea, says Sir Pete. Will you give us a ride? The dragon flies Sir Pete and Lady Callie home. Everyone is happy to see them. At first they are scared of the dragon. He's our friend says Lady Callie. Everyone is no longer scared of the dragon. 
You don't need a great voice to make music, Sister Pete. Just good friends. The dragon smiles. He can finally sing along. The dragon joins the song. Three cheers for Lady Callie and Sir Pete the Brave. The end, friends. And on the next story will be this one. Pete the Cat, Rock On, Mom and Dad. I hope you liked this story, and I'll see you next time for this one. I hope, again, you guys are all doing well. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.